What is going on then guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make the most of $200 when using Facebook ads. And if you've used Facebook ads before in the past, then you probably know that it's pretty easy just to spend like $100, $200 and not see anything in return. So it's critically important then, even more so with smaller budgets, that you make the most of every single penny that you have. And the way you do this then is by going broad really quickly, just to try and bring in as much data as possible. And then you evaluate the data, see essentially which ad sets look most promising, which audiences, and then focus your budget down just on those ad sets. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do then in this video. But before we get into it, as always, I am giving away a free one-to-one -one call with me on this video. All you've gotta do is simply like the video and leave a comment down below, and the winner will be announced then in my next video. And if you left a comment then on my previous video, make sure you stay tuned till the end of this one where the winner will be announced. And that being said then guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys? So to kick the video off then, I wanna show you guys the strategy in effect. So you can see that I actually do put these things into practice and I, I will only ever recommend strategies or things to do that I've me personally have tried and tested. So this is the strategy and I'm just gonna show you kind of like how it works. And then I've got a Google document which I'm gonna go through and just explain why it works and kind of like the reasoning and method in behind everything. So personally then, this is just one of the strategies I use. There are just, loads and loads of different ones and if you want some other ones then i have got a free ebook you can download it's 100 percent free all you've got to do is give me your email address um, and the link will be low in the video description so check that out if you want to um, so here it is then this is essentially the strategy and i'm just going to refresh it as well so you can see that i'm not there's no silly editing or anything like that going on and essentially what you do then is you go on really small budgets per day and you pretty much just target one interest per ad set. So as you can see, it's just focusing on the UK, 18 plus, they're all male and female as well, which I'll get into later. And then as you can see, there's just one different interest per ad set. And as you can see as well, we're only on $2 per day or two pounds per day because I'm in the UK. And the reason for this then being is because at this stage, we're not that tied up. We're, we're not focusing pretty much on the results at the moment. We just want to bring in data. We're not we're not caring about how many purchases we get. This is purely a data gathering tactic. And once we've gathered the data, that's when we're gonna look at the ad sets, look at these particular column headings here. There's a reason I've chose these ones, which I'll get into later in the video. We're gonna look at the ad sets that are performing the best, and then we're gonna choose those to up the budget on and essentially focus on the ones that look the most promising. So these are the column headings then that you need to be comparing each ad set against. And just quickly then, in case you don't know how to set it up, this little columns heading here, I'll highlight it on the video. If you click on that and then click on customize columns, you've got all these different essentially column headings that you can pick and it's gonna give you the data for each one. And then that way you can compare the ad sets looking at the numbers that you wanna look at. So just click apply. It's gonna give you the ones you've selected and then you can click save as well. So you haven't got to go back into it each and every time and select the column headings. So yeah, that's the strategy in effect then. How essentially does it work? So starting from the top then, as you can see, we've got 10 different ad sets. I don't think I had 10 there because I've been running these campaigns. You can see they've spent all of them over 10 pounds. So these have been running for quite a few days now, but essentially you start with 10, $2 per day. Each ad set is only gonna have one interest and this interest obviously has to be within your niche. And if you can then make sure it's an interest that has a maximum potential audience size of 500,000 people. And this is actually a really key kind of ingredient to the strategy. And the reasoning behind this then is because we're not spending a huge amount, then we don't wanna go after a huge audience. Because if you think about it, when when companies do product research, then they won't just go out and ask like a tiny percentage of their target audience. They'll ask as many people as possible. That way they'll get like a better average of whether people will actually buy their product or not. And it's the same on Facebook. The more you test within an audience, then the better idea you're gonna get of whether somebody actually likes your product. So if we go after a massive audience spending only $2 per day, then essentially we're not gonna get as good coverage or we're not gonna test as high a percentage as if we were choosing a smaller audience, if that makes sense. Hopefully I'm making myself clear. Any questions on this whatsoever, um, just leave a comment down below. I always get back to every single person. So male and female, then we wanna go for both genders, unless you 100% know which genders are gonna convert. So you're going into a niche that you yourself 
have a lot of knowledge of, um, then go for male and female. And then you want to stick to one country at a time as well. Now, there's plenty of time to scale off into different countries. And that's going to come when we've got the bigger budget. But for now, we're just going to focus on one particular country. So two days later then, so we run these, all 10 of these ad sets, we run them for two days. Our total spend is going to be $40. And then this is essentially where we do the first review of our ad sets. So numbers that you want to be looking at then across all your ad sets are the cost per click, the reach, the click through rate and the cost per action. So the cost per click, obviously the cheaper the click, the better, because then obviously the more relevant the audience is. The reach is important as well, because if you're spending the same amount per ad set, but there's a couple that are getting a lot more reach, then obviously your, your CPM is going to be a lot cheaper, which is obviously a good thing because you get more coverage, but for the same price. Click through rate, again, this shows how actually interested your audience is within your product, because if they're going further through the process and you've got a higher click through rate, then obviously it shows that that audience is responding better and it's more relevant than the others. And then cost with action, at this point, you might not have any purchases, but if you do, then obviously the ones that are performing, if all of them are getting purchases and all of them are profitable, then obviously keep them all. But if they're not, then obviously just keep the ones that have the lowest um, cost per action. Assuming purchase is obviously your target action. action. So heading back to my ad manager account then just to show you, obviously this, you can see how much I've spent. So we're not at the beginning of this strategy. This is quite a few days in. Hence why all of these then do have such a low cost per action because there were others that have been killed off um, that weren't producing any sort of results at all. So you wanna look at reach, as you can see, it varies quite a bit. So does the cost per result. You've also got the impressions, the CPM, again, the cheaper, the better, so long as it's performing the required data. And you don't want to just look at one of these and base all of your judgment off one. It's kind of like, think of it as like a recipe for a cake or something, this is a bit weird, but, if you miss out one key ingredient, then it might spoil the whole recipe. And it's the same with your Facebook ads. If you miss out one key number or one key piece of data, then it may skew your whole result. So make sure you look at the whole picture overall. And again, any questions on this at all, then I'd be more than happy to help. Either leave a comment down below um, or just reach out to me in one of my social medias. All the links are in the video description below. So moving on then, pick the top five and kill the rest. Now this is kind of like, not 100% accurate because obviously if they're all performing profitably and producing sales, then you want to keep them all. So unless they've shown a sale, then kill them off and only keep the top five. And there's a reason for this. Number one, we're on a we're on a tight budget, so we only want to focus our budget essentially on the ones that are producing the best results. And then simply the whole process pretty much repeats and we keep, it's kind of like a funnel, like you start at the top with loads of different ad sets, you narrow it down a bit, let it run for a couple more days and then you narrow it down again and again, but we'll get into that now. So let it run for a couple more days then, um, essentially your top five ad sets, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna double the budget. So instead of spending $2 per day, we're spending $4 per day and there's a reason for this. So. In terms of the interests as well, then we keep all of that the same. Nothing changes until the very end. Um, all we do is change the budget. So the budget doubles, and the reason for this then is we're gonna bring in twice the amount of data. So essentially we're gonna test more of the audience, and then that way when it comes to narrowing even further, we can make an even more educated decision. It's what I mentioned earlier in the video. The more data we have to make a judgment, then the better. And the way you've gotta look at this is, similar to what I just mentioned, in fact, previous in the earlier in the video is when somebody goes out and does product research or market research, then you wouldn't just ask one person whether they like it or not, and then base all of your findings off that one person, because you might ask 100 people and the very first person you ask likes it, but then the next 99 don't. And without that, extra data, then you wouldn't be able to make a proper decision on whether the market actually likes your products or not. And that's essentially what we're doing here. So we run for a couple more days now, so that takes our total spend up to $88, which leaves us $112 for scaling. And this is essentially where we're gonna narrow even further, but then increase our budgets even more significantly and essentially go after the most promising ad sets from the original 10, put most of our budget into these ones. And essentially this is where we're gonna start making some money. So in terms of picking them which ones we wanna choose for scaling, again, it comes down to the same numbers. Obviously the ones that are producing the best results overall, again, considering all of these, then these are the ones that we wanna keep. So by now then, we would have spent approximately about $10 per ad set and 
depending on what your product is, obviously if you're selling a really high ticket product where you can afford to pay say 50 pound per purchase, then you might not have seen any sales for now. But most people watching this channel, or at least most people that I talk to are selling products kind of in the 10 to $30 range. So $10 per purchase is kind of like that ideal marker. So the chances are we will have seen some sales by now. And if you have, then that is absolutely awesome. And you definitely want to keep these ad sets because if you can see sales spending only $4 per day, then the more data and the more you spend on that ad set per day, then the better chance you have of making even more sales. So even if you've seen one sale, then you definitely, definitely, definitely want to keep that ad set running. So choose the top three then, or keep every ad set that has shown a sale. And essentially what we're gonna do now is double the budget again, put even more data through that ad set because obviously the more data, Facebook works on data, it's a pixel, you have to mature your pixel. And the more data that goes through a particular ad set, then the more efficient it's gonna become at delivering and essentially bringing in people who are more likely to make a purchase. So two days later then our total spend is $136 and this is where things start to get interesting then and where we can start making some decent money. So what we're gonna do then is combine the winners into one ad set and combine the budget as well. So for instance then it does depend on how well the ad sets have performed. So you, essentially what you're gonna be left with then the example is here is you're gonna have one ad set and the interests within that ad set. We're not gonna narrow the audience, it's just gonna be all of these interests, and it's gonna be the interests from ad set one, two, and three, depending on what kind of results they've shown. So if they've all shown a sale, then combine all three interests, but if only ad set two and three have shown a sale, then just combine the interests from two and three, if that makes sense. So you're only combining the interests from the ad sets that have produced the sales. Then we're gonna combine the budget of what we've got left. So we've got $64 left, we've got $64 left. We're gonna stick that on ad set one and therefore we're gonna be spending $64 per day. And this is where it's pretty much game changing where things are gonna absolutely change in terms of the return on your money. I've shown it before and again and again in my videos that Facebook says that ad sets optimize on an ad set level and they need 50 conversions per week to deliver optimally. And spending $64 per day on one particular ad set, that's gonna be more than enough data going through that one ad set to bring in 50 conversions per week and make our ad set optimize, deliver more optimally and essentially become more profitably. So as it says here, the ad set will optimize quicker and allow you to target bigger audiences. And when your ad set becomes matured and becomes to the point where it's delivering optimally, that is when you can start scaling into the bigger audiences. You've got to think about it. If you have a brand new pixel that isn't matured at all, has zero data, then essentially it's got zero idea of who your ideal customer is. So when you go start targeting 1 million, 2 million audiences, then that is such a vast amount of people that it's just, it's going to be overwhelmed almost. It's not going to have a clue who to show your ad to. Whereas if it's got those 50 conversions going through it absolutely every single week, which it will have spending $64 per day, when you move into those 1 million, 2 million audiences, it's already gonna know who your ideal customer is, so it will know who to target out of those larger audiences, if that makes sense. So essentially that is how the strategy works. Hopefully I've explained it well enough to make sense, enough for you guys to wanna go out and try it. And if you do then, please come back and let me know what kind of results you get. I always love to hear from you guys the kind of results you're getting and whether it's on YouTube, in the free Facebook group, whatever it is, make sure you just come back and let me know. So that being said then guys, that is it for the video. That's it for the strategy. If you're still watching, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do leave a like, please do leave a comment. That will enter you into the free giveaway as well for a one-to-one -one call. And that being said, actually, let's get into announcing the winner from the previous video. So here we are then on the previous video, three proven Shopify products to drop ship in 2019, uh, 1300 views and 99 likes, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, uh, probably a record actually on this channel. So thank you very much. It's just absolutely mind-blowing and really to think. Um, I really do appreciate it. So please do keep it coming. So comment wise then, I think we're at 87, which is just absolutely huge again. So I'm just gonna take the URL of this one and we're gonna put it into our random comment picker um, just to make sure that it is obviously a fair raffle for everyone. So 46 unique comments, we're gonna click start and see who the winner is um, of this video then. So the winner is King Amar. Nice video bro, keep up, thank you very much. Um, make sure you reach out, mate, leave a comment in this video, send me a DM, whatever it is, and we'll get that call arranged for you. And that being said then, guys, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, leave a like to be entered into the next video's draw. And that being said then, I'll see you in the next one.